Okay, so as you can tell from the video title, I will be unboxing men's vicious out dry hiking shoes from Colombia. I should have actually brought in my signature action. Oh, yes. I'm gonna have to summon the light because this is going to run so easily. Okay, there we go. Yes, you know, you wanted to see that. Okay, that's all we need to do. Oh, do I see some sensitive information? Yes, I think I do. Let me pull this out. Yes, this is my invoice. So I'm going to take the box off. Actually, no, you want to see that, yes. You need to see that. Is my name on that? No. Actually, is it? Very, very careful not to leak any sensitive information. Uh, okay. All right. Columbia. Shoes. Um, eh, it smell. It smells just like new shoe. Just like rubbers and plastics. Nothing remarkably good. No, it, it does not smell bad. Don't be under impression. I think it stinks. It just doesn't smell like roses either. All right, so. Uh, you can see, actually, did, did I show you that they were made in Vietnam? Or did you already know that? You probably knew it. Now, why did I buy these in the first place? Because they were normally supposed to cost 160 but I got them for $79.94. But then with the taxes and then with the shipping, it came up to 101.63, which is still really nice because otherwise... It would have probably cost two hundred dollars, so I feel like hundred dollars I'd save right there. Is this important? Why don't I <laughs> actually yes, no I have to remove that. So yes, it's important that I do that. <clears throat> okay. So I can show you what's inside the shoes. Yes, you need to see what's inside. Enjoy the 4K details. So, made in Vietnam, USA 13, UK 13, European 36, and for centimeters, 31. Yes, a very handy information. I mean, you hopefully already know your shoe size. If you do not, well, then you measure your feet. <laughs> what else can I say? Now, there is a version of these where I think it's mostly red and blue. I actually almost wanted to cancel these when I saw that, but then I'm like, eh, I already placed the order and it's not like it's ugly anymore. and truth be told, I'm going to be getting these on the trails like how I normally do anyway, so it's like, it's not like I wanted ultra pretty shoes in the first place. Like, I mean, obviously I do care about my trail shoes being colorful and all, like I don't like the predominantly browns and greens or whatever. Because I just think that's just too boring and uninteresting. So these definitely aren't that, as you can tell. I like that they have the nice bright yellow. They have the blue. They have the gray. I, I wish this part of it was actually mostly blue. In fact, I'd rather this be blue and this be gray. But still, it looks really nice, though. And uh, is there anything more that I need to showcase? No, not really. I just hope that they hold up pretty well. Okay, this side of it is spongy. Well, it's not a total sponge. Like, it's going to be fragile and it's going to rip easily. Or, I, I hope that's not the case. I hope it won't rip easily. Here, feels reasonably firm. Would this be good on heavy-duty trails? Probably not, as you can tell from the looks of it. Or, maybe it will. Just don't be stepping on sharp stones or whatever. Even if you do... 
it is pretty thick between here and inside of here. I don't know if you can tell because I'm looking into it on camera, but it is. So even if you do step on something sharp, you'll be okay. Just as long as it's not long like this, then yeah, because if that's the case, <laughs> you're going to be in for some deep trouble. But you hopefully wouldn't be stupid enough to do that in the first place. Alright, that's it for this video. I bought these from Sporting Knife. If you want to get them directly from Columbia, you can. As for Amazon, uh, I have no idea, to be honest. I haven't looked there. It wasn't on my mind, but if you want to get them there, hey, why not? So, yeah, that's it. Columbia.